Hey there, good morning to you. It's Sarah here with Brown Family Goods. And I thought we could spend the day together just doing some things around the house that need to get done. So I've got a couple of things planned. First of all, I've got to run to the store and grab something to make some breakfast meal prep. All that I'm gonna be prepping for this week's breakfast is some breakfast burritos. So I wanna run out though and grab some sausage, some ground sausage, and some low carb tortillas. I like to make mine with low carb tortillas just because, I mean, why not save the carbs if I can? And also they're a little bit smaller in size, but they're just the right size for the breakfast burritos that we like. You've probably seen me make those here on my channel before, but I'll go ahead and make them again today because they're delicious and they're perfect for breakfast meal preps. So another thing on my list today is to get the potatoes ready to be planted. Yesterday, Alan and I ran to the plant nursery in town here and we grabbed some seed potatoes so that we can get our potatoes into the ground here very shortly. We like to get ours in the ground before Valentine's Day here in Louisiana for the earliest start. Sometimes they may get a light frost on them after this point and we won't have too, too many more nights of frost here, most likely. <laughs> what do I know? I'm not the weather, you know? the weather does what it wants but anyway we've just come out of some really really low temperatures as you probably have too it sounds like a lot of us have experienced those extreme low temperatures for wherever you are so i want to go ahead and get the potatoes in the ground and into the spots that we have prepared for potatoes so far anyway so let's go ahead and run to the store we'll grab those few things that i need and come on back and then be right back here to make the breakfast burritos and get the day started this is the stuff we picked up yesterday. Some fertilizer to work into the soil before we plant the potatoes out. This is two bags of potatoes. One is white Kennebec potatoes and the other is red Lasota potatoes. And those are the types that do really, really well here. I also got some corn, yes, yeah, some seed for corn, which I just bought some from um, Baker Creek. If you saw my Baker Creek seed haul, I just bought some corn seed from them. But this one last year did the best for me. The ones that is, I don't know what this is coated in, but it seems not to rot in the ground. And also the birds and things don't tend to go for it. So maybe it has some sort of coating on it. I'm not really sure what, but it seems to do well. So anyway, once we get back from the store, we'll go ahead and get those potatoes cut up and I'll show you exactly what I do with them. Oh, I forgot about these. I also grabbed a blueberry and a raspberry. These are bare root ones from uh, Tractor Supply. We grabbed these yesterday as well. So we have one raspberry, um, what what do you even call it? It's, it's barely anything at this point, but I have one raspberry plant and I have a few blueberries. So I'm always looking to add to the blueberries because we have yet to get a very good harvest off of our blueberries. I think they need more acid, but anyway, we'll get these planted out at some point too. Before we head out, we always have to let these doggies out. Moo Moo, Clark, come on Zeus. Zeus is on the couch. Come on. And Zeus, come on. Thank you, sir. Millie is like a little cat and she never goes to the bathroom. She goes like twice a day. Come on, let's go out. Let me show you how things are looking after the freeze recently. Yeah, they look a little sad. I'm going to wait a little while to cut this dead off. Just in case we have another freeze <laughs> sneak up on us. Yep, she's dead too. Not dead, dead, but they'll come back. But they don't look very good for the moment, do they? Oh boy, lots of cleaning up to do. Over here, I'll show you the joys of having turkeys. Turkeys run in a pack and they sometimes make it up front here. They come through the little gate there where they're in the back, way back there. And then they just travel on up here and look at the way they have spread all of the mulch out of my rose bed. Yeah, there's some cleanup to be done there. So yeah, they spread it all onto the driveway. Oh, gee, thanks. So today I'll be out here putting this all back in. And we got Zeus with a wrapped up foot. He broke his nail. A Clark who just got neutered last week. So he's been on light duty as well, as light as possible for a two-year-old Great Dane who loves to run and have fun. Right, Clark? 
but yeah. <laughs> and then Moose, who's just a big boy. But I will show you my planters, which did beautifully even in that cold weather. They did not die. And I didn't even move these inside. They did great. They were just barely under the eaves here and they still look beautiful. I have dogs following me. Okay, I made it to the store, which is Walmart. Um, that's basically the store here in our town. Um, we have a couple of grocery stores as well, but typically Walmart is the go-to around here, especially for me because it's close. I usually have everything that I need. Um, and also I can order it for deliveries because I am a Walmart Plus member and I have been for quite some time. Most of the time I'm ordering for delivery. Um, today I had to come in here to shop around. I also have a couple of things to return. Um, the other things that I have to get, I told you I've got to get the stuff for the breakfast burritos, of course. But the other stuff I want to get is some netting, some bird netting to go over the two beds of potatoes that I plant out. Hopefully this will be a quick trip in and we'll find exactly what we need all in one place, right? From the Walmart and I was able to find just about every single thing that I needed so I found the netting I found some seeds that I wanted to get as well surprise surprise and um, everything else that I was wanting so oh, I also got my tortillas these are the ones that I prefer I got three bags of them which is like 24 tortillas now I don't think I'm gonna be making that many burritos but um, I'll have them on hand if I if I don't use them all up. I also got, this is something new that I found and I love overnight oats. A lot of times I'll make my own. This is a little package of them. So um, of course you don't really need a package to make overnight oats. They're super simple to do on your own, but I thought this would be fun to try um, because they were just something new. So that's just a little something um, quick and easy to mix up at night and then have the next morning just as something different. So, okay, now though, I need to run out to the chickens and let them out into the main yard, basically. So, anyway, let's pop down there, check on the birds, see how everybody's doing this morning, and let them out into the, the big yard so that get, they can stretch their legs a little bit more. Take a look around this backyard. It is pretty barren right now, hardly a stitch of grass growing. So, at this point, I wanted to tell you about a company called Grubterra. This is something that we have been supplementing our chickens feed with here recently. There is not much good stuff for them to find in the grass right now. Unfortunately, it's that time of year, isn't it? This is a company that produces a sustainably raised black soldier fly larva. So all of their products are raised on sustainably sourced food waste from restaurants and supermarkets. And for every pound of larva, like these one pound bags that I have, um, they upcycle 20 pounds of food waste in order to produce that one pound of black soldier fly larva. That's pretty good. Black soldier fly larva contain 75 times more calcium than mealworms, which is another common chicken treat, I would say. Um, so this extra calcium helps them to produce really, really strong eggshells and boost in their feather production when they're in molting season, which some of mine are still molting at this point. All of their products are raised in the United States and Canada, and I think you'll really enjoy checking out their website because you'll find products for chickens or turkeys and ducks as well, in my case, and other poultry, reptiles, like live black soldier fly larvae to feed reptiles, and dogs as well. Single ingredient dog treats made from either beef or salmon. So there's lots of things there to love. They also have a subscription service if you prefer to do that, um, of make things a little bit easier on yourself for, and there's free shipping on all orders. I hope that you will check out their website and use my code BFG10 
You'll find that in the description box below as well. If you feel like going on there and ordering yourself some or your animals, some <laughs> good stuff to supplement their feed at this cold and uh, barren time of year. So usually all that I do at this point in the day is just gather the eggs that are already laid, let everybody out into the open, and um, that's it. That's usually it for this point in the day. Um, then later on, I'll come back and feed them again in the afternoon. Alan always feeds them and takes care of them in the morning. He lets them out of the actual coops from overnight. And then I come through, check on them midday, at least twice a day. Then I'll come back later in the afternoon and feed them one more time. That way everybody has a nice little belly before bed and uh, <laughs> keep everybody happy. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Okay, I got my kitchen stuff done and now I have got myself a cranberry juice and peach sparkling water. That's one of my favorites. I'm gonna enjoy that while I cut up these potatoes. I have six pounds of one and seven pounds of the other. Let me show you exactly what we got here. What I'm gonna do is cut the potatoes down into some different pieces. So you see here, there's eyes all over the potato. And from those eyes, a plant could potentially grow. So you don't wanna cut them down too small, but you can cut this into thirds or quarters, something like that. And these bigger ones, you can cut down even further, of course, because all the potato needs to grow is one eye, basically, and then um, a, a small amount of the actual seed potato itself. So what I'm gonna do, as I said, is just cut these down into some pieces and then, um, we will let them sit for a little while, um, a day or so. You can let them sit for much longer than a day, but I'm hoping that tomorrow I'm gonna be able to plant these out. Um, that's my goal. So you just wanna let them sit and, and let a skin, what they call a scab actually, form over the potato itself, the open cut area, and then they will be, better for planting out because they won't necessarily rot right when you put them into the soil. So there's still potential for that with potatoes, but if they have scabbed over a little bit, then these are just regular potatoes, then they are less likely to rot when you plant them. So anyway, I'm gonna cut them down into a few pieces here and then we will just turn them with the cut side up, let them sit exposed to the air. It doesn't matter if they turn brown or anything but I'm just gonna get working on these. 
So as I'm cutting these up, I just wanted to mention to you some places to get sweet potatoes. And as I said, we bought these at our local nursery because they had them in stock. And so that kind of means it's time to start thinking about potatoes. When they have the things in stock, like onion sets or potatoes or things like that, that's when you know it's time for you to get started planting them out. Anyway, if you don't want to look around locally or you just can't find them locally, another good place is online. So you can get seed potatoes from websites like Gurney's online, G-U-R-N-E-Y-S, Gurney's online, and they sell seed potatoes. I've, I have bought seed potato from there before, but also go to your local grocery store and get organic potatoes. The organic potatoes are seed potatoes. They're the same thing. So since they're organic, they won't have been sprayed with uh, product that makes them not sprout in the grocery store. So if you get organic potatoes, you can do this exact same thing. I have planted organic potatoes from the grocery store. And if you choose to buy organic potatoes from your grocery store, you can at that point, let them sit in your cupboard for a little bit and let them sprout before you cut them down into size. And then you've got the exact same thing as the seed pota potatoes that I'm preparing here. And you'll be on your way to growing your own potatoes this season. Uh, so let me tell you where I got these. I got these at our local nursery and they will get things like potatoes in stock, strawberries, bare root strawberries. The best thing about buying from a local nursery is that they're going to have things in stock when they're in season for your area. Um, if you find these in the store at your local nursery, that's because they're in season and it's getting time, close to time for you to plant. Also, another thing that I use very frequently is a planting guide that is from uh, Louisiana State University. That's just the ag school, the local university ne near to me. They give recommendations on when to plant things here in our area. So I'm sure that by you, wherever you are in the world, um, there is a local authority that gives the same type of recommendations for your area, for your hardiness zone as well. Whatever planting guide that you find, they most likely will give recommendations on what varieties to grow as well. So these varieties, there was only three varieties of potatoes available at my local plant nursery. And that's the, because they are recommended for our area. We're very humid, we're very hot. We um, have a very long growing season, but we have a short window of time where things are cool enough for things to get going. Look for your local authority on your area and you will have a lot more success with whatever you do decide to put in the ground. Now, uh, on the other hand, <laughs> There's plenty of things that I try because I just want to try them as well. Lavender, I tried to grow for years, years. I tried buying lavender from stores locally and putting it in the ground here. Didn't work. Finally, it just died. I tried growing lavender from seed and it would barely take off and I put it in the ground here and it would die. So, I mean, there's just things that I would like to grow here, but you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll have success with them, maybe I won't. It's not recommended for me to grow lavender here. I don't have the right type of soil. I don't have the correct pH. I don't have the right conditions of weather outside, but I really would like to because it's so beautiful. Um, but that may or may not ever actually happen for me, but it doesn't mean that I don't have fun trying still. So <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. Any kind of recommendations, just take it with a grain of salt. And some things, if you wanna try it, you just try it. Mm -hmm.